It was simply a magnificent universe to be exposed to. It's like a world where I was able to fly. Seeing all those creatures underneath felt like I was the bird in that universe. Conservation of coral reefs is also a conservation of life. The reefs provide balance both under and above the water. To save this ecosystem means to protect the wildlife, the marine life, and the people. Beaches are one of the best places to relax and enjoy yourselves. People love to swim along the shores and frolic in those white sands. Little do they know, there's a whole different world just further off the coast. Ninety-eight percent of the Philippine reefs are classified as threatened, with seventy percent at high or extreme risk. And sustainable practices such as blast fishing and cyanide fishing are thought to be the largest contributors to reef degradation. The Philippines suffered its first mass coral bleaching at the end of the 20th century, affecting 80% of the corals. If we continue on a path of high heat trapping emission, acidity levels could begin to deprive corals of the ingredients they need to build coral skeletons. As part of this generation, the decline of the coral reef has been alarming. If the rate keeps increasing, people will lose their livelihood, and some areas along the coast will be prone to natural disasters. It's sad to think that the future generations might not see the beauty of the reefs, that they might not experience the thrill and the astonishment you get with your first dive. I fear that they'll soon be the burden of telling the stories without ever seeing it in real life. People thrive in the presence of these reefs. It's a big source of their livelihood. But we have drained our resources too much. I think it's time to find an alternative that will conserve and utilize our bodies of water. We've been on many hikes and climbs the past few years. What we've noticed is that the locals are well aware of the trails and have used their knowledge and offered to guide the mountaineers to their destination. It has become a site of tourism and the source of life food for their community. We thought maybe we can use the idea on the reefs and free diving as the sustainable tourism. What if we teach the locals how to free dive and let them pass this on to the tourists that visit the area? It's another source of income that they help promote the conservation of coral reefs through tourism. I think it's an interesting idea. It's a way for the community youth to develop not only free diving skills, but also for them to learn the importance of these reefs in their area and how they can benefit from it as a community. The information the locals will retain from the project will help them realize that in order for an ecosystem to survive, it needs humans too to play their role as protectors of this fragile yet valuable marine ecosystem. Not only is it a great way to preserve and showcase the coral reefs, it's a form of therapy for many people like me. Because seeing a world that's far different from what you live through every day gives you a bigger perspective of how diverse our world is. Humans are born inquisitive about everything. Like, we always fascinate about every single thing. And if we can hold on to that kind of curiosity and create a passion for knowledge and conservation, then I think the world will be a much better place. You know, it always starts with one person who aspired to see the world underneath that surface. But always remember that passion comes with knowledge and with knowledge comes wisdom for others.